New at 10, investigators are finding apparent connections between three separate incidents that ended in the death of two adults and a baby discovered early this morning on the 405 freeway. Yes, yeah, so sad. Fox 11's Chelsea Edwards live in Westwood with the latest tonight. Chelsea. Alex, Christine, a lot to unpack here. We're told a nine-year-old girl is recovering here at UCLA Medical Center. Authorities believe she is the only surviving member of her family. They say her baby sister, her mother, and her mother's partner all killed in three separate incidents under separate circumstances earlier today. An investigator still trying to piece together exactly what happened. A nine-year-old girl, the sole survivor of a morning of mayhem starting in Woodland Hills. Law enforcement sources say a woman in her mid-30s stabbed her partner to death in their home in the Montecito apartment complex around 3.30 a.m. Neighbors say they heard screaming. Walked out our front door and to the left is their door and their door was wide open and there was blood all throughout their front door all the way to the hallway leading to the elevator and blood on the walls. I went into the apartment. I stepped over blood puddles and and checked on the body and and uh, saw that he was dead. He was face down. Police say the woman then loaded her two daughters into a black Porsche and rammed through the complex's garage gate, shaking the building. I heard this big thump. Less sounded like a bowling ball hitting the my whole ceiling vibrated. About an hour later, someone reported that two young children were on the northbound 405 freeway near the Sepulveda Boulevard Howard Hughes Parkway exit in Westchester. Officials say a baby girl, just five or six months old, was killed in the lanes. Her nine year old sister found injured but alive on the right hand shoulder of the freeway. Even though I do this every day, this definitely hits home. It hits definitely different when it's a kid that, you know, didn't really have a chance, especially an infant, a baby, you know, that's really helpless. Authorities say it's not clear how the kids ended up on the freeway, but it's believed they came out of a dark sedan. At 5 a.m., sources say this Porsche slammed into a tree near a church on PCH in Redondo Beach. The solo driver, believed to be the girl's mother, killed. While there are still more questions than answers, neighbors say everything they know about this situation is tragic. Our neighbors have heard fighting, and I've heard fighting, but not... I could never imagine this. You don't think your neighbor's going to get murdered. Neighbors in that apartment complex say the couple mostly kept to themselves. They'd lived there for about a year, but they didn't know a whole lot about them other than they had heard fighting in the past. Now, authorities are asking for the public's help. They are asking anyone who may have been driving on the 405 freeway between 4 a.m. and 5 a.m. in the Westchester area who may have seen something, even better, may have had dash cam video recording to please come forward with anything that might help with their investigation. Now, the good news is the little girl, the nine-year-old, is expected to physically be okay, but hard to imagine what lies ahead in terms of her mental recovery. Reporting live from Westwood, I'm Chelsea Edwards. I'll send it back to you in the studio.